queen is a very complicated woman. Um, she has that tough exterior and what she's been through has kind of caused her to build a, a wall around herself wherein there is nobody else with her. She doesn't let anyone in. She doesn't have close relationships with anybody. She's someone who likes to spend her time alone. And um, she's very exacting, uh, obsessed with justice, definitely. Um, and very hard on herself and others. I would describe Slim as, you know, he is a much gentler soul um, than Queen, in that, you know, he, he more so, I think, allows life to happen to him and kind of goes with the flow. You know, and so the, the, the gentleness that comes with a person, a personality that goes with the flow. You know, he doesn't ruffle feathers. That's more slim, and he's very earnest. Um, you know, that's really his personality. It's a, he's got a very earnest personality and, and almost an, a, an innocence. There are two people who get thrust into this situation purely by accident. By accident and by instinct and by that fight or flight urge that happens when you are facing death. And I think it's very different than just saying like, oh, these two people are heroes. You know, these are just two people that responded to a horrible circumstance in the best way that they knew how. And they chose what was important to them. And it is not necessarily heroic but it was brave. A young man and a young woman go on a date that isn't particularly memorable, and uh, on the way home, uh, as he's taking her home, because they weren't going home together, <laughs> let it be stated, <laughs> on the way home, they get uh, pulled over by the police, and as it so often does in America and in these situations, especially with black people as we are, Queen and Slim, the situation escalates and unfortunately it escalates into violence and uh, we end up killing the police officer and instead of turning ourselves in, we decide to go on the run. It's been so incredible and super intense. I mean, as I said before, this is my first time starring in a feature, so you know, what that entailed was not something that I had ever encountered before, you know. And and not only that, but it's not really um, something where it's more of like an ensemble cast. It's more, you know, really about Queen and Slim. So it's basically the two of us on almost every single page, um, which is pretty intense work-wise, because that means, like, you're in every day. So it's really been so incredible and, and so intense and obviously it's so scary. <laughs> It is about black love, but it is also, I think, about black resilience. And I think that it's more about that than, I, f I feel like the love is, it's a given. You know, like that is, that energy cannot be destroyed inside of black people. And it's why I believe we continue to, to thrive and excel and exist even underneath all of the oppression that we have faced in the past and that we continue to face in the present. But this is their survival story and, and a story about their resilience in the face of something that is crushingly terrible, like killing a police officer. I mean, that is not, it's a horrible thing to do and a horrible situation to be in. and. In spite of it, these two people find a humanity and a love in each other and in life. Hey, it's Lisa. Did you know that the largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking? 27 people died, including the director and cinematographer, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice off the coast of Newfoundland. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.